Good morning, it's Pastor Ken. Yesterday I said I so much appreciated the fact that young people have taken the lead in speaking and standing and marching for racial justice all over the country this past week. And it's true that young people often bring a kind of clarity and wisdom that we older folk just quite can't seem to get our minds around sometime. Think of somebody like little Greta Thornburg who has been the spearhead of the environmental movement around the world. But you know, there's also something to be said for the wisdom that comes with age. I'm thinking today of some of our octogenarians here at Emanuel and some of our older folk who have spent their lives working for peace and justice in different ways around the country and around the world. The Wheelers, the Shaners, Marilyn Clark and others. Very inspiring and we, we need to listen to and learn from that generational wisdom and the beauty of a small intergenerational churches, we can do that. We have opportunity to really get to know persons from different age cohorts and in different generations. The writer of the book of Job asked rhetorically, does not long life bring understanding? And my answer to that is yes, it, it certainly does. So we give thanks today for the wisdom and the activism of our young people and our old people, we need, we need all of it. And uh, we thank God for the gift of each generation and the wisdom it brings because what's happening today didn't happen overnight. You know, the activists of today stand on the shoulders of those who went before them. And that's when inflection points happen. Have a beautiful day and remember in the end, Everything goes away, even COVID-19, everything but love. Be still and know that I am God.